Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a singular milestone vans logs as 10,000th aircraft. More than $135,000 in aviation scholarships now available from EAA, and Alpha highlights FAA study underscoring danger from unsafe UAS. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's December 4th, and this is Airport Unlimited. Fans Aircraft tells ANN that David Porter recently reported the first flight of his RV-7 and became the official 10,000th Vans RV aircraft to transition from a collection of parts and take to the skies. Vans says it's official because there are certainly more than 10,000 flying, but they simply don't know about all of them. Porter lives in Martinsburg, West Virginia, and spent three and a half years building his RV-7 from a standard kit. It's his first kit sport plane. The stats are intriguing. Porter's serial number 74311 is the 1,662nd RV-7 to fly. It's fairly typically equipped for a modern RV with a light coming 0360 A1A and Hartzell blended airfoil prop. His first flight was on November 24, 2017. Vans Aircraft began to sell RV-3 plans back in 1973, and since then, a new RV has taken to the air every 1.6 days on average. No one is exactly sure when the 1,000th RV flew, but the 2,000th mark was passed in November 1998, 19 years ago. The increase from 9,000 flying RVs to 10,000 took just 33 months or under 1,000 days. After the break, AMA announces partnership with NIFA. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. AMA, the nation's leading voice for model aircraft flying hobbyists, and the National Intercollegiate Flying Association, a collegiate organization dedicated to developing and advancing aviation education and safety, have formed a Memorandum of Understanding to explore collaborative opportunities to university students to become involved in model aviation. This agreement also means that the organizations will provide increased visibility for each other through outreach and communication channels. The Air Force has selected Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida as the preferred location for hosting a new MQ-9 Reaper wing with 24 remotely piloted aircraft. Vanderburg Air Force Base, California is considered a reasonable alternative. The wing will be composed of an operations group with mission control elements, as well as launch and recovery capability and a maintenance group. Final assembly of the newest member of the A330 NEO family and the A330-800 has started and is on track for the first flight planned in mid-2018. The A330-800 complements the A330-900, the largest member of the A330 NEO family. With its 242-ton maximum takeoff weight as a base variant, the A330-800 can operate routes of up to 7,500 nautical miles. And with a recently launched 251-ton maximum takeoff weight variant, the aircraft can operate the ultra-long range routes of up to 8,150 nautical miles. 
The second prototype of the NH-90C line commissioned by the Federal Office of Bundesware Equipment, Information Technology and In-Service Support lifted off from the Donauer site for its maiden flight on November 24, 2017. Airbus Helicopters is now entering a development testing phase of several months that will focus on avionics and software. Activities for the qualification of the delivery configuration will start over the course of 2018 once additional modifications have been made to the prototype. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. More than $135,000 in financial aid opportunities for flight training, college aviation studies, and EAA residence camps are now open for applications through EAA's scholarship program. Many of the scholarships, especially those for college studies, have a deadline of January 31, 2018. EAA scholarships are supported by aviation-minded donors who are helping to build the next generation of flight. The awards vary from $500 grants to four-year renewable $10,000 college scholarships for those interested in pursuing more within aviation. Categories include flight training scholarships, where aid is applied directly to instruction and flight time required to become a pilot. College scholarships that cover a wide range of aviation-related college and university studies and internships for positions that introduce young people to the aviation business world and camperships that provide financial support for young people aged 12 to 18 who want to attend the EAA Air Academy each summer. As with many aspects of higher education, finding the funding to make aviation dreams come true can be a challenge, said Brett Steffen, EAA's Director of Education. While many of the awards have varying deadline dates, most of the college scholarships must receive applications by January 31, 2018. After these messages, ALPA highlights FAA study underscoring danger from unsafe UAS. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. Following the release of an FAA directed study showing that unmanned aircraft systems may damage aircraft more than burst strikes during collisions, Captain Tim Canal, president of Airlines Pilots Association International, renewed the union's call for Congress to give the FAA the authority to regulate hobby drones, though the narrative he invokes is not altogether correct nor firmly verified. Canole claims that in 2012, Congress told the FAA it could not create or put into effect any new safety regulations for unmanned aircraft that are operated as models or as a hobby. Congress must change this law and allow the FAA to apply safety rules to all types of UAS operations. Policy and regulations must require operators to understand how to fly UAS safely. Individuals who fly UAS for recreation must be required to keep the aircraft within sight so they know where it is located and where it is heading. In addition, authorities must possess the tools to identify and track UAS operators who don't conform to the rules, so that authorities can protect air travelers and shippers. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.